Today is Monday, September 23rd, 2023. It is two days before 4.1 drops. So you know what time it is. Strip marketing time. Now, we can all assume we're gonna see Farina. Farina is usually, or sorry, the Archon is usually in the 0.2 patches, at least the new school ones. So it'd be really weird if she wasn't, that'd shock me, but I'm assuming she will be in the strip marketing. And as far as four stars go, we're not getting one at 4.1. There are zero new four star characters in the 4.1. So I'm assuming at least one, maybe one or two. So I'm assuming Farina and a four star. Uh, as per usual, I open Twitter and I have it all zoomed in so I can't actually see anything. So I'm completely out of the know. And yeah, I'm curious to see. We gotta get, we, we need to get at least one four star for this. And Charlotte, finally, man. We saw Charlotte in 3.7. That's when we first saw Charlotte. And when I first saw her, I thought she was actually going to be like a, I thought she was like a really, really well done NPC. And I was like, oh, they're stepping up the NPC game. And I was like, oh, it's a playable character. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce the first word in this paragraph. <laughs> Efrazi, uh, three days ago, one of your journalists secretly followed a suspect all the way from the Court of Fontaine to Romari Time Harbor and almost ended up being tied up and thrown into the sea by a gang of criminals. Whether or not there's... Uh, any truth no in that notion that neither to the action is closer to the truth surely miss charlotte does va doesn't value her reports more than she does her own life yet another exasperated exchange between captain chevers okay that's the name we know of the special security and surveillance uh patrol and uh Yifrazi, editor in chief of the steamboat so chevers is a special security and surveillance patrol Hmm. We knew a little bit of information about the character, but not that too much. So Charlotte, uh, Lens of Verity, nice. Reporter of the Steambird, Cryovision, and Hulenia Vertes. Not sure what this one means, but it's probably related to either like, I feel like a camera or a picture or maybe like a flower or something, but that's a constellation name. Uh, interesting story going on there. And we have the other information. Fontaine's famous newspaper, The Steambird, has a veritable legion of reporters it can call upon, each with their own area of expertise. Some specialize in celebrity gossip, others follow the word on the street, while others still focus on political affairs. But among them all, there is one that stands head and shoulders above the rest, thanks to a seemingly boundless reserve of energy and pers perseverance. The uh, imitatable, the, oh, imitatable? Charlotte, hmm. Uh, unswervingly committed to the principle that nearly the action is close to the truth. Charlotte has a habit of popping up literally anywhere and everywhere in Fontaine, from its uh, widest avenues to its narrowest back alleys. The highest vantage points to its lowest subterranean vaults, even its tallest mountains and its deepest undersea caverns. She captures the truth with her camera, records it, uh, in her articles and finally unveils it for all to see. When the truth comes out, she's met with a variety of different reactions ranging, f ranging from applause to embarrassment to outright fury. There are even some who would go to resort to, or some who would resort to any means necessary to make a popular article connected to themselves disappear. Hmm. Or alternatively, just make Charlotte disappear. <laughs> Dang. For this reason, the newspaper's editor-in-chief, uh, Ah, what's that word again? Yefrazi has on uh, numerous occasions felt the need to distance Charlotte from the court of Fontaine by sending off, sending her off on fair, far away field reporting jobs. Only recalling her once the uh, Mason Guardianage or the Special Security and Surveillance P Patrol had finally managed to clear things up. But despite all this, neither the toil of the job itself nor the pressure of external uh, denunciations and threats have ever phased Charlotte in the slightest. Charlotte is a straight savage. With her <laughs> trusty companion, Mansoor Verite, she invariably carries out her journalistic duties with her unfiltering uh, fervor, rushing about in pursuit of all truths out there just waiting to be discovered. Hmm. Yeah, Charlotte is a... Uh, I knew she was going to be fun when we first saw her, so she literally will do anything well, she'll not anything, but she'll do almost anything to pretty much get the news or get the truth, as she called it. Um, 
you know, honestly, the best candidate for her job, or I guess the best person at her job or for that job. And um, just a straight, just, you know, literal <laughs> savage to get anything that she needs to get as long as it's for the truth. So as for Charlotte, I'm excited for her. Then we have Farina. Here's her second one. Endless solo of solitude, Regina of all waters, kin kindreds, peoples, and laws. Good grief. That's her title. She even gets the emote. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Undoubtedly, Farina has been much loved by the people of Fontaine from the moment she became the Hydro Archon. Her charismatic uh, parlance, lively wit, and elegant bearing all bear witness to her godly charms. But perhaps the thing that she is most revered for is her unrivaled sense of drama. As a protagonist, or as the protagonist of a famous play at the Opera Epicles once put it, life is like the theater. You can never tell when the twist will come. Okay. Farina is, an, Farina is as intractable as the most cunning of stage characters. Her course of action defying all prediction. Uh, in fact, it's precisely for this reason that the God of Justice and Judgment, unapproachable in her divine majesty, has such a bewitching influence. But when the curtain falls, a hollow feeling invariably steps in the creep or starts to creep in. Oh, well, there are those who wonder whether there are moments in the dead of night when a, even a god like Farina feels the sharp pangs of loneliness. No, surely not. People couldn't possibly imagine, let alone believe, that such a scene might play out. And that's indeed the way it should be. That's it. We're not. Uh, were it not for the fact that Farina's tears had already been subtly washed away by the fountain of Lucene. Hmm? Her tears have already been washed away by the fountain of Lucene. Because that kind of goes back to the little Easter egg that, that plays. Hmm. I guess in this instance, they're saying, like, you know, people think that that's not a possibility for her. Because she's so, you know, the, the, the way she is. <laughs> She is such a character, man. I swear, like such a character. And then we have the uh, the quote: "One lie always follows another, and so justice awaits inescapably at the end. The ignorant see that this is some kind of farce, but they trace back to the source. They inevitably realize that they began by deceiving themselves. A disordered fable left in someone's dream by Mage N." Oh, is that someone from the Hexen Circle? Or I'm dumb. Is that somebody from the Hexen Circle? Hexen Circle? Farina, Endless Solitude of so Endless uh, Solo of Solitude, Hydro, and Animula. What? So that first word in Latin means a small or little soul. A sensitive person. <laughs> a depiction of a Deceased soul. Oh, okay. That just got dark. Hmm. I could be totally wrong on this. I'm just trying to like look at the definition of her consolation. But a small or little soul or a sensitive person. So I'm thinking maybe these first two, hopefully not the last one. But even this could make sense in terms of like the last Archon. But that's the first word. And the second one was. It's like the plural way to say it, but. Any wealthy Athenian citizen who paid the cost of theatrical productions at festivals during the 4th and 5th centuries BC. I well, don't theatrical, so that's close, I guess. But you put these two together, and I'm not quite sure what they, they're going for on that one. But, yeah. I mean, it kind of made sense, each word itself. But, like, I guess a theater, a theater of small souls? or theater of sensitive people, I guess. I don't know, but interesting, said at least. Uh, that was it, by the way. Okay, yeah, just those two. So Farina and Charlotte. Um, Charlotte's actually came, gave me a pretty good laugh in terms of uh, her reading. And uh, Farina, as usual, is it's, she's just such a good, such a twist for an Archon, you know? It's almost like, it's kind of like no one, honestly. It's just kind of like a, just a new kind of character, you know? Just really full of herself and, you know, just Nouvellet seems like he's more the Archon than she is. 
But I'm excited to see what she can do later on. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. We're actually, she's guaranteed. So guaranteed for 4.2 is Charlotte and Farina. So those are your two new characters, 4.2. That's your drip marketing. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Um, sorry I didn't have too much to say this time about this, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited about it. Uh, we kind of knew a little bit about Charlotte before and Freena is a lot more to know about still like still to learn, but I think we can all pretty much grasp how Freena is so far. So <laughs> looking forward to the Archon quest in a few days. We'll be playing that hopefully the day after it comes out, but that'll do it for me. Once again, let me know if you guys caught anything that I didn't see or if I got the definitions right. Or maybe, you know, what Charlotte's uh, constellation means, you know, thoroughly. But yeah, that'll do it for me. I'm excited for 4.2. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.